What is happening, everyone? Welcome to another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It'll make you feel eh, slightly better, probably. Today, we're back at the KMRD Proving Grounds here at Huntsville State Park. Wanted to do a follow up video on the Wolf River coils with the shortened counterpoise. If you haven't seen that video, maybe pause this one, open up a new tab, and click that link right there and watch that, and then come back and watch this. But the premise is. Uh, I want to see the difference if we use a lot of shorter counterpoise versus the three 10 meter counterpoise that come with this antenna. So right now, basically it's in its stock configuration. We're just using the K-Murder death spike to actually mount this as opposed to the tripod. I tested them out both. There is no difference whatsoever whether the ground spike is in the ground or if it's on the tripod. I've got the three 33 foot uh, counterpoise wires on right now and I'm going to do some whisper tests. I'm going to A-B them. Uh, and I'm, basically, I'm just gonna change my uh, grid square in uh, WSJTX. So the stock configuration with the 10 meter counterpoise, I'll be in Echo Mic 10. And then when I'm changing it over to the shorter counterpoise, I'll be in Echo Mic 20. So we'll be able to see the differences on the whisper report when we, when we take a look at the results. I'll probably do a couple sets of like 10 minutes of transmissions and seeing what the results are. Then I'll switch the counterpoise, do another 10 minutes, switch the counterpoise back, do another 10 minutes to try and keep it as fair as possible because I don't have two transmitters simultaneously going and I understand band conditions can change just like that. So that's about the fairest way I could see to compare it is kind of to, to divide them up. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And I got the 7300 out here. We're going to hook it up to the uh, computer and get on WSJTX. I'll save you the boringness of sitting there watching me stare at a computer and uh, I will come back with some results. So stay tuned. So I'm all set to transmit. Everything's good. I tested everything. I'm using 10% power for uh, really no other reason than that's just what I feel like doing. I didn't want to go too low. Um, I understand weak signal and all that stuff, but I want to actually put my signal out and see what we can get. So I think 10 watts is fair. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and transmit for, uh, what is that, five cycles or 10 minutes or whatever. I, I, this is probably the third or fourth time I've ever used Whisper. But uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, I'll come back after we, we do this. And I don't know. I don't know how I'll cut all this together. But I'm going to play radio, and then we'll see some results. Fair enough? Good. <laughs> All right, so the first five transmissions of two minutes are complete. Got 272 contacts, if you will. Now I swapped out and uh, completely removed the 33-foot counterpoise wires, and now we have uh, 15 two-meter counterpoise wires. Rechecked the uh, antenna on the analyzer. Didn't have to retune it at all, so that's fantastic. We're looking about 1.4 to 1 uh, with both counterpoise wires, so we should be ready to go and uh, see what happens on this next lap of transmissions. All right, got some interesting results here. Let's take a look at some maps here. I took some screenshots uh, every time I transmitted. And basically the way I transmitted, I just set it for 100% transmit. So uh, basically two minute transmit cycles over and over again for 10 minutes. Just raw dogged it the whole way. <laughs> So I had 10 minutes on the longer counterpoise, switch those out, 10 minutes on the shorter, switch those out, 10 minutes on the longer, switch those out, 10 minutes on the shorter, you get it, okay? 10 watts. So if we look at the first time we transmitted with the standard length counterpoise wires, we can see a pretty good radiation pattern. We got all the way up to Alaska, as far west as Hawaii, uh, down to Puerto Rico. As far as the continental US, pretty much the same radiation pattern I would expect to see uh, with any other antenna that's just kind of more east coast and less west coast. We did get all the way up to, uh, looks like middle Alberta there. So that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the first transmission with the second, uh, with the shorter counterpoise wires. And you can see uh, we got a lot more uh, Alberta stations up there, uh, but only Hawaii. We didn't get Puerto Rico. We didn't get Alaska, kind of more just in the uh, continental United States. Then if we look at the second transmission with the standard length counterpoise, we can see back to Alaska. We got actually all the way down to South America. Looks like Nicaragua, again, Hawaii, and we got all the way up to Iceland. So that's pretty freaking cool. And uh, a, a good bunch of contacts right in the continental United States. And then if we take a look at the second transmission with the shortened counterpoise wires, we can see, well, now we got Alaska. We still uh, have Hawaii. We also got Spain this time, or where's that, Morocco somewhere? And uh, 
Again, there's that Alberta station up there and your typical pattern for the continental United States. So pretty interesting results as far as the numbers go. The first 10 minutes with just the standard three counterpoise that come with it, we got 272 spots on the whisper cluster thing, okay? The first 10 minutes shortened, we got 262 contacts. The second 10 minutes with the standard length counterpoise, we got 281 contacts. And the second 10 minutes of the shorted, we got 252 contacts. So the totals with the standard length counterpoise wires, we got 553 contacts. With the shortened counterpoise, we got 517. A difference, the longer beat it out by 36 contacts, which is not a lot, but still beat it. Um, I'm, I'm not shocked, but that's interesting to see these results. And it was interesting to see the radiation pattern. A Little bit more DX with the uh, standard counterpoise wires. Um, I'll be curious to see what this does on phone and how, how it'll affect receive. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to receive at all. I just wanted to, to transmit, uh, but I suspect we'd have similar results on receive. Um, so maybe I'll do another test with this uh, on phone at some point. That'll be a little bit more subjective though. Not quite as scientific as Whisper can be, even though Whisper isn't really as scientific because I'm still transmitting at two different times, but I suspect if I kept doing this over and over again, we would get similar results where we're seeing more contacts with the longer counterpoise than the multiple shortened counterpoise. However, it still works. We're still getting out. So if you have an area where you simply don't have 66 feet of real estate to put three 33 foot counterpoise wires out, this would still be a viable option uh, for those that need a smaller space to put their antenna in. And that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to experiment. I wanted to see if, if this would even work. And yes, it does. I checked for tuning. It doesn't make a lick of difference whether I'm using the tripod or I'm using this, the, the K-Murder Death Spike. They both tune the same, so that really isn't much of a variable. Uh, so interesting little uh, experiment, and I'm glad to have been able to do this for you, and I hope you like it, and uh, maybe you learned something, maybe it helps you. So if you have, even if you haven't, you should hit that subscribe button and, and like and share and all that kind of crap. And uh, in the meantime, uh, go watch more of my videos, and we'll see you again on another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.